With more on this, Ahmad Al Muhammadi joins me now from Kuala Lumpur. He is a counterterrorism analyst at the International Islamic University of Malaysia. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, let's start with the UN reports indicates that Myanmar's military displayed extreme levels of brutality. How significant is this report and how likely is it to be acted upon by Myanmar? Uh, I believe that this is not uh, something new in our region. We have known about this uh, issue and the atrocity committed by the, uh, the government of Myanmar since uh, many, many years ago. And I think this report is very significant because it reinforces it reinforces the uh, the previous reports, and I think that uh, it informed the international community that the issue that we are dealing with uh, in this region is is very serious and it requires international attention. And just on to my second part of that question: How likely is it? Do you think that Myanmar will pay attention to this report and act on it or respond to it? I would say that it depends on the how much the international community will pressurize the government of Myanmar. I think that if uh, the international community speak collectively, uh, especially at the uh, Security Council as well as the uh, many other countries also jo uh, join uh, uh, with their voices uh, expressing their displeasure of what is going on in there, I think they will act. But so far, I don't see any change in terms of the government position and the decision made by the government of Myanmar. The report also said, as we mentioned, that top military figures in Myanmar should face genocide charges. How likely is it that these, uh, the, the top military brass in Myanmar will actually have to answer to these crimes? I believe that uh, given the nature of the political system in, in Myanmar, uh, the top military brass in Myanmar is yeah, responsible for these kind of atrocities and they should be held responsible. But I think if they are still in control, if they, uh, they are in the hands of the military uh, power, I don't, we cannot do anything about it. Uh, the report documents widespread abuses, just really difficult things to, to even read about. I mean, they're talking about gang rape and, as we mentioned, genocide. How do these top military commanders allow this type of behaviour within the military to go on? Is it a matter of they turned a blind eye? Is it a matter of they encourage this kind of behaviour? How is this situation allowed to even occur? Uh, if we speak to the, the government of uh, Myanmar's official, for example, they would say that there is, we have justification for why we do that. And that in certain uh, cases, they say that we do not know or th this thing is committed and uh, they, they deny it. Uh, that's why in the report we see we can see that there is a complete denial of uh, uh, what is uh, being done uh, on the ground. Uh, so, uh, and shockingly, yeah. they, they talk a lot about uh, normalcy and immunity with these acts, which which is just harrowing reading. Thank you for that. We're going to have to leave it there. That's Ahmad Al Mohammadi uh, from the International Islamic University of Malaysia.